everyone, the Fasten Your Seatbelt Lights are on. We'll be bouncing from video to video of the worst plane landings and most idiotic moments in the cabin. So subscribe to the channel and let's commence takeoff. You know it's bad when they start whipping out duct tape. New planes are long overdue, WestJet. Poor guy, it's likely he was dared into skydiving. There's always that one friend who makes dramatic entrances to parties. And there's always that one friend who has imaginary enemies wherever they go. They were handing out many heart attacks on the pier. Of course, today's video wouldn't be complete without a crazy Karen. Mad props to the parachute. No medical bills, just insurance claims. It was a choice of swimming or flying, both of which they don't know how to do. Right after the captain made the routine arrival announcement, a man opened the emergency exit for unknown reasons. Talk about maxing out your level of trust. Three thousand feet? Check. Three feet? Not quite. The time has come. The Toyota Corolla officially gets bragging rights for the first ever car to drive mid-air. Donating with malintent is totally possible. He's a man with zero cares left for his job. This Cessna's spin training can turn stomachs without even being on it. The nose landing gear of a 787 retracted during maintenance. It was later revealed the pin used to prevent it was put in the wrong hole. For a thousand bucks, would you go on this ride? <laughs> Who parks on an airport runway anyway? Bro literally said, I am not going down sober. My man's just wanted to get that game's checkpoint saved. Their pilot better not be asking Siri how to fly, too. With less than 100 hours of experience, this new flyer cheated the afterlife when his engine failed. Look at how close he is to the cars and power lines. The next to fall will be a bunch of lawsuits. The best way to showcase aircraft over speeding. And folks, here's why just the tip won't ever be safe. It's almost like the more fragile stickers there are, the rougher they go. 
every plane deserves a last chance at a flight before being scrapped. Another Florida man has been spotted in the wild. Someone forgot to put the latch on. At least they increased drag and cooling. Visiting the Maldives during the monsoon season is 50% beaches, 50% bad landings. The perfect ad for noise-canceling headphones. Passengers in the back better watch their heads. Their bags will certainly have shifted. Nine months later, a new plane is born. Sometimes, no matter how hard we work or perfect our craft, life is just a bee. Slide on down to the bottom of the video, hit thumbs up and keep your seatbelts on. More videos incoming! Everyone was having dinner when a monstrous bit of turbulence hit. We didn't know air rage flyers are also a thing. Neither did they achieve the element of surprise, nor the camouflage. It could have been easier if it flew the way it was supposed to. The airport probably predates that 1940s de Havilland vampire. Two damaged wheels? This student pilot deserves to skip his final exam. Something is fishy about these training crafts and their landing gear. Here's another student who deserves a pilot's license. Here's a friendly tip, if this is your point of view, run. A drunk dude actually dared his friend he could outrun the plane. Glad they saved money on shepherd dogs, it's not like fuel is that expensive. An unsuccessful chopper rescue on Kozbek Mountain, Georgia. He'll need it later. He better go back and get it. Boeing must have used Elmer's glue in this model. Our guy's lucky that he pressed the open and not the eject button. It's the few moments leading to a community blackout. Sorry, passengers, you have to clap again another time. Dogs would be jealous of his experience. They might as well enlist as medics. She went from 25 to 80 in five seconds. Forget the hiking accident. The hospital should treat his vertigo first. Bro, 
Crow's a real psycho for doing that without shoes on. A terrifying precursor to a possible plane cartwheel. With this much fog, either something cool or something bad is about to happen. When you forget to press G for the landing gear. These two are planning to visit their friend. What they didn't tell him is how they're gonna get there. From bed sheets you came to hankies you be. This passenger never got to acceptance of the five stages of grief when getting left behind. Percussive maintenance is an adaptable solution to a lot of things. removal is a unique add-on for this airline. Hopefully nothing catastrophic happens on landing. Due to a tail rotor failure, this EC-145 spun out of control, but like any ace who deserves a raise, they avoided casualties, human or otherwise. That was very personal. I'm guessing the airport spent too much on manual labor and none on equipment. Better that it falls there than up in the air. Couple more of those and the runway will definitely be long enough. It's a bad time to be hogging the window seats, huh? Those windshield wipers are working as hard as him to get through that turbulence. When the plane rides the person. <laughs> it was her first airplane trip, and it also appears to be her last. There were no seat monitors to entertain them. All they had was an overpriced $20 can of Pringles. They could have simply stopped by to ask for directions. When you dip your toes into the pool, but it feels too cold. You could say he was a bit too high on his approach. <laughs> yeah, we said worst landings, but he deserves recognition. When your Apache commander has acrophobia. A change of underwear is immediately necessary. Bro's a daredevil for reverse parking without any side mirrors. United Air may need to tweak their automation and ground crew roster altogether.
What would you do in this precarious situation? For us, prayer is the only option. A helicopter's version of a pit stop. Oh, so that's why they call it a nose dive. Oh, he just crashed. A smart move by the bird. He gets to migrate 500 miles, no sweat. If Red Bull sees this, they'll be hiring them in a heartbeat. With the AC down, why don't they just crack open a window? When you wake up thinking it's Friday, but it's only Thursday. Turbulence is another reason to thank them for their service. There are added job requirements to apply as a Mission Impossible film pilot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at our destination. If you enjoyed today's Idiots in Planes, subscribe to the channel and comment down below your favorite moment. For more awesome compilations, click on the boxes on screen. Thanks!